Don't 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 threaten me here. Don't fucking threaten me here, bro. Don't 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 threaten me here. Don't threaten me here. Let's be honest, folks. Who doesn't get a kick out of watching those cocky fighters, the ones always taunting their opponents, finally getting a reality check right in the middle of the fighting ring? It's like a universal thrill we can all relate to. When those fighters experience a taste of their own medicine, it adds that extra dose of excitement to the upcoming match. We all crave a bit of justice in our favorite sport, and that's why we've got a compilation of moments where those cocky rats got destroyed. So stay with me as we dive into these unforgettable instances. Number 10, Nadia Kassem versus Ji Yon Kim. In a oh, boy, that right hand landed, John. Yeah, it looks like Kassem started to fade a little oh, bit. No. Oh, that left hand really got her attention. In a riveting showdown at UFC 243, Nadia Kassem found herself face to face with the skilled Ji Yon Kim. Kassem appeared cocky since the start of the fight, but remarkably, she continued the fight behaving arrogantly as she mostly struck the air. Kassem's attempt at a dirty trick failed, and Kim capitalized on the opportunity to punish the overconfident rat repeatedly. As the bout progressed, Kim's relentless assault in the second round showcased her prowess. Unleashing a barrage of unanswered punches, she demonstrated superior technique. The climax came with a powerful blow to the liver, sending a clear message on etiquette. In this encounter, the cocky rat was taken to the school of good manners by Kim's precise and dominant performance. The bout concluded with a powerful lesson, leaving the audience with a taste of humility for the once confident fighter. Number nine, Pauli Malignaggi versus Artem Lobov. Don't, 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 don't hey, threaten me here, bro. Don't, don't threaten me here, bro. Don't, 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 don't threaten me here, don't threaten me here. Witness the antics of the sneaky rat, none other than boxer Pauli Malignaggi. Known for his insolent behavior, Malik Nagy engaged in a heated argument with Artem Lobov, leading to an arranged match. During the weigh-ins, the master of blowing gums intentionally disrespected Lobov, solidifying his title as the Emperor of Rats. As Judgment Day approached, Lobov's gaze revealed his intent to punish this rat. Under Lobov's fearsome look, Malik Nagy uncontrollably shook during the fight. Lobov's punishing punches left the rat resorting to desperate hugs, a feeble attempt to evade the beating. With each blow, Lobov thoroughly enjoyed dismantling the rodent, earning a well-deserved unanimous decision victory. The filthy rat faced the consequences of his insolence, proving that in the ring, actions speak louder than disrespectful words. Number eight, Curtis Harper versus Bahadir Jalalov. In a, you know, but that's just the way the fight, but you right. If he added power, in a 2022 showdown, Olympic champion Bahadir Jalalov faced Curtis Harper, who resorted to a real rat act from the start. Sensing his disadvantage, Harper sneakily headbutted Jalalov, misunderstanding the phrase, use your head. Infuriated, Jalalov decided to teach the rat a lesson. Harper, smelling fried, attempted another dirty technique, aiming for the back of Jalalov's head. The referee intervened in time, preventing the foul move. Jalalo's patience wore thin, and he unleashed his fists of justice. A precise left cross almost sent the scoundrel to the audience space. Though the rodent survived momentarily, Jalalov delivered a relentless series of powerful blows, ultimately punishing the cholesterol rat. Number seven, James Gallagher versus Ricky Bondejas. Get the f out of here. This is my country. Don't f forget that. This memorable matchup from August 2018 featured James Gallagher, often likened to a Conor McGregor imitator, going head-to-head -head with Ricky Bandages. Gallagher was known for his brash trash talking and his efforts to mimic McGregor's flamboyant persona. Everyone was standing on me when I was at the rock bottom. They stood on top of me, tried to keep me down. And I was like, damn, got straight back up. And now I'm here, I'm here, and they're all running. I dropped down a weight class and the champ goes running. His pre-fight antics were all about getting inside his opponent's head. However, as the saying goes, talk is cheap. When it was time for actual combat, Gallagher's skills had to speak for him. Despite his confident demeanor and attempts to psych out Bandeas, Gallagher struggled to back up his words with in-ring performance. As the fight unfolded, it became clear that Bandeas wouldn't be shaken by Gallagher's mind games. In a critical moment, Bandeas took control 
knocking Gallagher down with a well-placed straight right punch. He didn't stop there, sealing the victory with a precise side kick, followed by a flurry of strikes, leaving no doubt about the outcome. Number six, verbal warfare backfires. Our next moment takes us to a face-off brimming with tension. One fighter was relentless in his pursuit of verbal warfare, hoping to psychologically rattle his opponent and gain an advantage before the fight even began. He appeared set on talking as much trash as possible, believing it would dictate the outcome of the fight. However, when the moment of truth arrived on fight night, the situation took a dramatic turn. The fighter, who had remained relatively reserved during the verbal exchanges, let his fist do the talking. What followed was a brutal beatdown that felt like a form of justice being served. This instance clearly shows that in MMA, the ability to perform inside the cage often matters far more than the words exchanged outside it. And actions can indeed speak louder than words. Number five, in the UFC 196 matchup, Nordin Taleb faced Eric Silva. This as well, right back up, Silva trying to engage. Oh, oh look at that. Wow. Touch of gloves. Kind of. Talib aggressively moved forward, dropping Silva in the opening round. However, Silva's strikes were inaccurate, mostly hitting the air. Attempting a takedown, Silva failed and realized he lacked a chance in a fair fight. In an attempt to secure an advantage, Silva resorted to a sneaky move, catching Talib off guard. This was his only successful shot so far, but Talib wasn't about to tolerate more underhanded tactics. Frustrated by Silva's dirty tricks, Taleb caught his opponent's leg and delivered a knockout blow, sending the rat into the proverbial sewer. Number four, Ben Nguyen versus Julian Wallace. 61 for right. 61.4 right. 61.6. 61.6, he's in. Just the details for the fighters. The battle between Ben Noyen and Julian Wallace, a bantamweight championship bout, took place in March 2014. Before the fight, during the traditional stare-down, Julian Wallace tried to get into his opponent's head. He extended his left hand, pressing it against Ben's neck while giving him an intimidating look. Wallace seemed quite confident that he had gained a psychological advantage over Wynn. However, Ben responded differently, flashing a subtle and tentative smile showing that he wasn't affected by the intimidation tactic. When the fight began, it quickly became apparent that Wallace's bravado wouldn't be enough for victory. In a stunning turn of events, Ben only needed 25 seconds to prove that arrogance alone doesn't guarantee success in mixed martial arts. He defeated Wallace swiftly, leaving the overconfident fighter with a harsh lesson about underestimating his opponent and relying solely on psychological tactics. Number three, Joe Harding versus Johan Segas. A kick, kick that lands and then a jab to follow it up. Again with the jab. Oh! The this always sinks! And that's exactly what I said is... Yeah. In February 2017, the featherweight title clash between Joe Harding and Johan Segas at BC MMA 18 was marked by Harding's penchant for showboating. Throughout the fight, Harding displayed flamboyant moves, including taunting and touching gloves before attacking. However, it was in the third round when instant karma struck. In his typical showboating fashion, Harding went in for a jab, but decided to taunt instead. Sega seized the opportunity, delivering a devastating head kick that sent Harding crashing to the canvas. Sega didn't stop there. He finished Harding with a barrage of ground and pound strikes. Number two, Anderson Silva versus Chris Weidman. In July 2013, one of MMA's most iconic moments unfolded when Anderson Silva took on Chris Weidman at UFC 162. Silva, known for his showboating and innovative striking, had often toyed with opponents using mind games. However, this time, Silva's showboating backfired. During the fight, Silva's taunts and evasive maneuvers eventually led to his downfall. In the second round, Weidman capitalized on Silva's antics, landing a left-hand strike that dropped a Brazilian legend. As Silva fell, Weidman seized the opportunity, finishing him with a flurry of ground-and-pound punches. Number one, Aaron Chalmers versus Corey Browning. 
In February 2019, Aaron Chalmers, a relatively new face in MMA, transitioning from an acting career, faced Corey Browning at Bellator Newcastle. Chalmers had garnered attention in the MMA world, but his inexperience showed during this fight. Chalmers dropped Browning and prematurely celebrated, thinking he had secured victory. This mistake proved costly as Browning displayed resilience and skill. Browning expertly executed a heel hook in the third round, forcing Chalmers to tap out. These instances teach us that engaging in trash talk or being cocky will never guarantee victory. If you are a true fighter, you need to embrace humility. If you aren't humble and tend to be cocky, someday you will receive a bitter lesson. So which moment did you love the most? Tell us in the comments section. And if you want to watch more cocky fighters getting destroyed, just click the screen right now.